Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. Today, we are going to be talking about the Prime Day Game Plan, Expert Strategies to Dominate Your Sales. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm trying to move the slide. I somehow messed that up. Here we go. There we go. All right. Um, yeah, we wanted to um, just familiarize everyone with our console. Um, I think I think we don't have to do this anymore. I think we've done like seven webinars with this new console. So everyone, if you are a regular, probably don't need this. But just wanted to let you know that um, you know right in the middle, that's our slides. Um, you can book a meeting with anyone, um, with one of our experts at Mayan, if you click that schedule a meeting with a Mayan expert. Also, we um, provide free advertising audits. And so if you click that start now button, that's gonna take you right through that process. And that's, it. I'll talk a little bit more about that um, at the end of the webinar. But basically what that is, is it just, Un, you know, it, it really shows you all the different opportunities that you might be missing out on um, with your current advertising strategy. And, you know, we walk through like what you're currently doing and what you could be doing a little bit differently. Um, it's actually been very, very beneficial for a lot of sellers. We've we've identified, you know, sometimes up to 20 or $30,000 a month that is, um, you know, not being spent effectively. So I, I think that that is a great opportunity for you, everyone to check that out. Um, there is a survey at the um, right there below the slides. And um, we're going to be asking if anyone has any questions. So feel free to just pop it in, um, ask any panelist a question um, on any of the content that you hear. All right. And just to go ahead and uh, start us out. Just tell us where you're calling in from, um, how long you've been selling with Amazon, um, you know, and um, any like product categories um, that you are selling. Want to say who Mayan is? Um, Mayan is the only PPC optimization platform built by MIT data scientists, and our customer success managers are proven Amazon and PPC experts. This really is our key differentiator. Um, Chris Sawicki that I'm about to introduce is with Mayan and he is a, um, a current seller with Amazon. And so whenever we say that our customer success managers are Amazon and PPC experts, we legitimately mean that they've been doing this for years. They have um, learned how to do PPC the hard way and just Googling it. And so, you know, now that they are experts and they've been able to really uh, utilize that and leverage it for their own brand, um, you know, they've come over to Mayan and, uh, you know, that really is uh, part of who we are. And I will move on to our next slide where I can introduce Chris Sawicki and Chris Wiseman. Chris, yeah. go ahead. Uh, yeah. So I've been selling on Amazon for around seven years now, I guess. Um, I started out in the retail arbitrage space um, to kind of dip my toes to see what all the fuss was about. Um, I did that for about a year to two years and saw extreme success with that, but I quickly realized that there was a lot of money to be made elsewhere in the private label industry. And um, I really fell in love with pet products at the time. And I started my own private label pet products brand and had pretty decent success doing that. Um, I did six figures in my first full 365 days. So the full first year, uh, I did around six figures um, with that. And then recently about, I don't know, eight months ago, I joined up with Mayan because I wanted to learn more of the technology side of Amazon. And yeah, I definitely, like April said, learned PPC the hard way because it was my own money. And um, a lot of trial and error, but I figured out a lot of stuff and learned a lot from it. Um, so now I'm here at mine. I'm here to help others grow their businesses. And I'll pass it over to Chris Wiseman now. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Chris Wiseman. I'm the general manager here at uh, Seller Rocket. I've uh, been with the company uh, for a couple of years at this point. Um, I actually joined the company as a uh, account manager, so managing day to day with uh, other sellers uh, and brand owners um, as well. And as I've kind of Move my way up the ranks now, oversee the sales and client services of the company, uh, but also work more directly with uh, publication partners um, as well. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you so much. 
All right, Chris Sawicki, you're up. Yeah, so uh, I'm just going to talk about the Prime Day strategy that I suggest to, I would say, 99% of our clients. Um, so there's, it's kind of a four-step process, I would say. Um, the first step, really, um, you just want to make sure you are prepping in advance um, for your inventory because you're going to see a large spike in sales, hopefully, for Prime Day. Um, usually, you know, we see sales 3x to 4x on those days. Um, so you want to make sure that you have enough inventory in place to combat that spike in sales velocity. Um, that's a real double-edged sword too, because sometimes people can overcommit inventory and you don't want to be stuck with large amounts of inventory and have high inventory fees for months on months. Um, so one thing to get right is look at historical data, see how well you've done in the past. Um, if this is your first prime day, kind of look around um, what other sellers have done. Uh, it also kind of depends on the category you sell in. You know, some sellers, it might not make too much sense to do prime day, but I would say for the large majority of sellers, you know, you should be doing some sort of discount and you should see some lift in sales just because the amount of traffic on Amazon on those days is going to be significantly higher. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is make sure your pricing is set. So what I mean by that is a couple of things. Um, we want to make sure that you are um, following guidelines when it comes to your pricing. Um, and also on the ad side, you're going to want to make sure that your ads, your budgets for your advertising is raised during that time period because you do not want to be running out of budget halfway through the day on your ads at the same time. Um, because then you'll be not advertising for half the day and you just want to make sure that there are rules in place to set your budget higher on prime day. Um, another thing with pricing is just making sure that all your ducks are in a row. So what I mean by that is if you're doing some sort of discount, uh, which we'll get into here on the next slide, um, you're just going to want to really make sure that, you know, the margins are there for you, um, and with the discounts and everything and your bottom dollar is set. Um, so the deadline is already passed for uh, prime promotions, but like promotion deals, but you can still um, qualify up until the day before prime day by doing 20% uh, off prime exclusive coupons. So I'd recommend anyone that is selling for prime day that they offer a 20% off coupon. The majority of consumers um, that are going to Amazon on prime day are there to find deals. So if you do not have a deal going on, you know, you're probably going to be overlooked a little bit, uh, depending on what category you're in. So what I would recommend is you setting a 20% off coupon um, for the prime day and the whole the few days of prime day. Um, so you can drive extra sales to your uh, listing, you know, and if, if obviously it's going to dip into your margins, but it will really help your sales rank in the long term because if all your competition is also doing 20% off or and you are not doing it, then they're just going to run right past you when it comes to ranking and um, sales velocity. So we'll definitely want to make sure that you set some sort of discount, um, if possible, for your products for before Prime Day. Uh, you can set up the coupons as soon as the day before. So definitely do that. And this is just a comparison of um, a, a client that didn't do prime day one year. And then the next year they did do prime day. Um, they, what I mean by that is they did it, they offered a discount during that period. And then prior they didn't. So as you saw, there was a 1% increase in sales growth on the first day of prime day, uh, when they didn't do a discount and 3% the next day, um, the next year they ended up doing discounts because we heavily encouraged them to do such. And we saw a 277% increase in sales on the first day and 200% uh, increase on the second day, 206%, I should say. Um, so definitely, you know, the studies have shown that having some sort of discount really does help. Again, it kind of depends on your product, but I would say 95% to 99%, um, definitely kind of qualify under this umbrella. Um, and with that, another thing I just want to talk on real quick is, uh, kind of back to the inventory part. If you are able to fulfill items yourself, um, I would highly recommend that you have an FBM listing just in case you run out of inventory. So that way your listing isn't out of stock um, and you can still sell fulfilled by yourself if, if you do run out. 
um, it's a good way to make sure that you still have inventory or you're still selling, I should say, um, to make sure that you don't run out of inventory and then you're out of stock and then you're everyone, all your competition kind of walks right by you. And then step four is you're going to want to drive external traffic to your store. Um, you can do this by a variety of uh, ways. You know, you can have blog posts, you can have social media marketing, you can have Google PPC. Um, definitely want to be really advertising that you are offering a prime exclusive discount um, anywhere possible. It drives traffic into your store. It also drives traffic to your listings and it will help sales. Um, you know, a lot of people kind of get excited about Prime Day. So when they see other people talking about Prime Day, they get excited about it. And, you know, if, if they're Googling what best Prime deals or something like that, and they see your item on a blog post, it's, you know, a really easy way to get people into your store and highly encouraged to do so. Um, and yeah, so just to recap real quick, we'll want to make sure that you have deals available for your consumers. So a 20% off discount is typically a, a good starting point, starting point, I should say. Um, and then you're going to want to definitely make sure your ads are up and running and that they stay in budget throughout the whole day. You can set budget rules to make sure um, if there is a high volume of clicks that you stay in budget throughout the day. Um, highly recommend doing that because you do not want to be running out of budget at noon or anything like that and not see as many sales as you could have. So plan that in advance. Same thing with the inventory. Um, you want to make sure that you have enough inventory to cover the spike in sales, but not too much inventory that you know, you're stuck with months and months of inventory and then you're paying extra to store it. Um, again, a good way around that is the FBM method where you just have an FBM um, listing behind you just in case you do run out. Um, however, I would highly recommend that you have the FBM, FBA inventory in there um, instead of just relying on that. Uh, and then the last thing is just make sure you're considering your product's margins to determine if the 20% discount um, can be used or not. It, it's really down to you know how well your margins are on that, but you know you're going to see a large volume in sales um, if you do participate in that. So it's highly recommended. And then going to pass it over to Chris Wiseman. Real quick, Hello, I'm just going to hop in there if that's okay. Mm -hmm. We've got one question for you, Chris Sawicki. Right. Um, what do you mean by a few days of Prime Day? Are sales stronger than usual for the week leading up to and the week after Prime Day? Uh, that's a good point. I would have to like look into the historical data on that. But what I mean by the few days of Prime Day is like Prime Day usually lasts for two days um, instead of just one day. Um, we've seen it last year as well. Um, so, you know, that's what I mean by the, the multiple days there. Um, Leading up to it, I it depends, I guess, on the consumers. Um, if they're aware about it, they're definitely going to wait for Prime Day to buy something that they're waiting on, especially bigger purchases or purchases that are like, you know, home and good, depending on the category. Um, you know, you might see sales slow down right before it and then, you know, increase exponentially the days of. Um, and then the days after, maybe it'll slow back down again. But overall, um, you know, we don't see too much of a dip right before or after. Perfect. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Chris Weissman, we can move on to you. Let me go ahead and. Yeah, yeah sure. Uh, there you go. Um, thank you. Um, so uh, I thank you, everyone. I thank you for having me on the webinar here. Uh, so yeah, I'm talking about uh, some Prime Day exclusive things. Uh, so my name is Chris Weiss, as I mentioned, uh, general manager over at Seller Rocket. Uh, so Seller Rocket is PR for e-commerce. What we do is help connect brands and sellers uh, with publications to get their products featured in editorial content, uh, featured on Google, featured on deal, uh, deal articles, things of that nature. Uh, so I'm going to showcase uh, kind of an example here of native publisher content. So when you're going on a Google search uh, for here, obviously someone put in uh, Best nose bomb for dogs. Um, you see, obviously, the paid ads there, but then you start to see uh, a publication advertising from their research and actually uh, putting together what they believe are the best nose uh, bombs for dogs. And so this kind of helps hone in on point four of driving external content. Um, obviously, we do know Amazon does reward uh, BSR rankings for external search content going directly on the Amazon listing because it's keeping. Uh, the consumer going from another retail site. Uh, so Amazon does reward uh, brands that do attract uh, uh, 
purchases through this avenue. Now, um, when it comes to Prime Day, obviously this is a big thing for publications. Uh, so most publishers are Amazon affiliates. So they do get an affiliate commission directly from Amazon for any sales for any products that come through their app. They usually have their own affiliate tag associated with it for tracking purposes, uh, but it's very big for publications. And so around Prime Day, they really ramp up uh, what they're gonna be doing uh, and all the content posted on there, but in multiple different ways, not necessarily um, a like best Prime Day deals of 2023 that I've found via Google search, but a lot of things that people don't consider is local newspapers. So a lot of local newspapers are owned by larger entities. So uh, in this example here, uh, the Charlotte Observer is owned by McClatchy is the main publication. They actually own 20 properties, uh, Miami Herald, Sacramento Bee, uh, Charlotte Observer is featured here. Each one of these properties actually sees over a million users in traffic uh, per month. And so, and what's interesting is in scenarios like this, they'll spin up some Prime Day deals uh, in different uh, articles that are featuring that, but they syndicate against all the properties. And so not only is maybe that deal showcasing a couple products um, of whatever, you know, the best uh, fidget toy is or something like that example, or best Prime Day deals going on, it may show up at Trail Observe, but it's gonna show up in my Herald. It's going to show up in Sacramento Bee. It's gonna go across all the properties. So from the actual visibility standpoint, it's 20 fold overall. The other way uh, that they kind of put a focus on this too is if somebody does come across uh, the normal, what this would be called traditional review guide, they do also put a little banner across uh, to kind of redirect people over to some Prime Day deal uh, things that they're going to be highlighting uh, during this time um, as well. Now, uh, here's a kind of example of some deal deal specific articles that are kind of uh, that float out there uh, through Publishing on the Street or Money.com. Now, how do you get picked up by this? Obviously, you could work with a company like Cell Rocket, uh, who has direct access to uh, publications, um, but you can also reach out yourself. So every article out there always has an author or an editor that's associated with it. Um, usually, when you click on it, it has their either a LinkedIn profile or some email that you can email them directly. Now here's a little secret. Publications aren't always sure what to write about because there's always new products out there. There's always new things uh, to feature. Uh, they only have so much time of the day. Uh, so actually contacting directly is a, is a good way to kind of showcase this. Uh, and especially when it comes to Prime Day, they need a lot of assistance. So a couple of things that they actually will help stick out to them if you're contacting them is one, heavy discounts. Obviously as Chris uh, implemented earlier, 20% is usually probably the minimum case, but the more the better. Uh, you know, sometimes 50, 60% really gets the ball moving in some of these publications and stuff that they spin up. But we do also realize that not every product margin can allow for that. So kind of a secret along with that is maybe you can't afford this 20% or, you know, maybe it's a 15% or 10%. Things that are trending, things that are really big in season are also good things to kind of stick out. So if you, you know, if you're running pool items, obviously we're in the summertime here, hey, this pool vacuum is 15% off then that's also going to stick out to them uh, when it comes to Prime Day deals as well. Obviously, Prime Day is a big one. Yeah. Uh, so single day, flash deals, holiday specific pieces. Uh, but another piece that a lot of people don't consider yeah, is awesome. showcasing, you're pushing inventory, you're going out of stock, you got a new uh, model coming out. Uh, so you really want to help you know get through this. All of that is really going to stick out uh, from a publisher or an editor to actually pick up the product and write content. Perfect. Thank you so much, Chris's. It is funny to have two Chris's on a webinar. No one knows who I'm talking to. <laughs> um, I just wanted to go ahead and open it up to some questions. Um, and while we're waiting on those to come in, um, I can talk a little bit more about our audit. Um, if you go ahead and scan this QR code, um, that will lead you straight into the process of how you can sign up for an audit. I think it's, a, it's really important to say that no credit card is required. It's no obligation. Um, so it is, it's literally um, free for you to just figure out, you know, from the experts, you know, what, what are some opportunities that um, maybe you are not thinking of, some keywords that are not optimized. Maybe you're spending a lot of money on um, an ad category or an ad set that just really is not performing well. So um, definitely want to um, inspire you to 
to click on that UR code or scan that QR code and move forward in it. And um, yeah, we we have given the retail value of $1,000, but yeah, I, I just wanna say that there really is no um, obligation or credit card um, needed to do this audit. Um, it really answers those questions. Am I wasting ad spend on low performing targets? Uh, can I increase higher converting placements? Um, and how can I position my ads to aggressively beat the competitors? Let's see. Um, and while I am, um, I'm going to go ahead and let you talk about this offer, and then uh, then I will jump in and ask a question. Yep. So, uh, Telemarketer, we are running a promo. So, if you go to the contact us form on our website uh, and mention this Mayan webinar, um, you do enroll in our uh, traditional offsite or native publisher content. We will be able to offer you a free single product review from a publication um, as well. Perfect. Um, I have a question. Do you suggest just discount for Prime Day or discount and coupon together? I'm not sure what that means. Um, Chris Sawicki, maybe does that sound like something you might understand? Uh, I think it says um, or B2B coupon together. Um, I could be wrong on that. Um, I would suggest uh, definitely do the 20% off coupon on everything. And if it, if they mean B2B coupons, then yes, I would follow the same advice there as well because businesses are also looking for deals on those days. Um, if it's either just a discount or the coupon, it really depends because we're already past the deadline for Prime Day exclusive deals. So the only real way to kind of get your foot in the door there would be the coupon. Perfect. Let's see, I have another one. Would you recommend using different discounts for different products? Uh, yes, I think that kind of depends on your margin internally um, and kind of what other Chris was saying about the seasonality of the products. Uh, you know, if, if you have the margin there and there you're able to offer a more extreme discount on something that's really in season, then definitely do so. Uh, it might trickle down to your other listings depending on what you sell. Um, and really 20% is the minimum, but so if you could do all your items at 20%, but some at 25, 30%, 50%, then that would be great. So it just depends on your bottom line. Perfect. And would product bundles work as well as discounts for prime day? Uh, yeah. So, um, I typically don't do such a thing if I'm going to be transparent on that, but um, yeah, you can run uh, discounts on bundles. So it would be an opportunity there. Yep. Perfect. Um, I just got another one in. Hold on one second. During Prime Day, we can set a percentage. Oh, someone else has grabbed that. Um, we can set up a percentage off discount and coupon on top of percent discount. Do you suggest just a percentage discount or on top of the discount also offer a coupon? Um, I would definitely suggest doing the coupon on top of the discount because the coupon will have a green uh, flag below it. And a lot of times people look for that green flag. Um, it helps uh, conversion rates a lot. Um, if you had to pick one or the other, you know, I would still probably suggest coupons because um, you'd also be shocked of how many people don't click on the coupons, but will still buy the products. Um, so if it's like, let's say a 20% off, really it might end up being like 18% off because a lot of people don't actually redeem the coupons. Um, but a, a combination of both is probably the best way. So if you had 5% off um, just as your normal slash through, uh, that's great because you'll see a slash through on that um, and see it's on sale. And then if you had a coupon on top of that, that would be the ultimate best conversion. It's so funny that you say that a lot of people don't really take advantage of the coupons. It's the thing that drives you there. And then you get so excited about the product that you're just like, ah, <laughs> buy it. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm definitely guilty of that. I've had scenarios um, where we had 50% um, off coupons and they would still not click it. So it's pretty shocking. Yeah, it is very shocking. Um, well, the final thing I wanted to do is just let everyone know about our upcoming webinar. Um, that is on June 29th. It's the same time as this one. It's 11 a.m. Um, Pacific time. That's not 
Is that true? I think that is right. Yeah, we had to make it a little bit later. So it's an hour later than this one. Um, but it is how to radically grow your FBA business. And we're doing that with 8FIG um, as one of our partners. So if you want to go ahead and scan that code, that, that QR code is going to take you directly to that registration page. And uh, we hope to see you there. I have one final question. And... Um, there we go. So a 10% discount and a 10% coupon. Um, so with that, I would have to double check on that. I don't believe so, because I don't think it'll be um, like Amazon will register it as a, like a prime exclusive for prime day coupon or like discount. Um, if it's one and, and the other, I would recommend something like 5% off and then the 20% off coupon. Um, you, you would want to make sure your coupons are at least at 20%. So um, it, I don't think there's a way to split it down the middle. Um, I would have to double check that, but I don't think so. And I I have um, this person's email address, so I will connect with you, Chris Sawicki, and then follow up with you um, via email. Okie doke. Well, thank you so much, Chris and Chris, and thank you so much for everyone that joined us. Um, you know, some topics are a little bit shorter, and that is A-OK. -okay. That gets everyone back to work. And um, so thank you so much for everyone joining us. Yeah, thank you, thank you for having me.